Hi, it's Clyde again from Vibrant Soap, and as I told you in my first video, I'm planning a series of soaps that I'm basing on uh, paintings that I've done. Um, this one should be a little interesting because I'm going to show you two paintings. The first painting is of hummingbirds and ravens, and then I did a second painting that's very abstract based on that painting. And it's this abstracted piece that I'm going to base the soap design after. It's going to be a combination of a um, three-part in the pot swirl, and once they're layered in the mold, I'm going to do a hanger swirl. Um, I'll show you that painting so that you can see why I think that approach might work. It's uh, layered in basically purples on the bottoms, reds in the middles, and yellows on the top, but it needs to be swirled together, thus the hanger swirl. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, my oils have cooled down to about 100 degrees, and I've got my um, kaolin clay in there and I've got a mixture of oils just mixing it up a little bit to make sure that if it's settled on the bottom um, the kaolin clay I've got it up there too. Okay, I'm going to add my lye which has some silk in it and it's about a hundred degrees also. that around a little bit. Again, I always do that so that um, the agitation of the blender doesn't speed up the whole uh, saponification process. And I just want to incorporate that a little bit. And add some sodium lactate to make it a harder bar of soap. And some aloe vera and for this one I'm using some shea butter I melted that earlier so it's not too hot and I don't spend much time blending it at all because I'm going to be doing so many different colors that um, it'll get blended pretty well throughout the process. And then this is my mix of fragrances. I mixed it myself. It has mango, um, green apple, and um, what else does it have? Ginger lime. Okay, that's about as much as I want to do, and I'll see you in just a sec. Okay, now I'm going to pour into my three main batches. This is going to be my yellow, my light purple or lavender, my red. And I have all kinds of different colors mixed in there because I think I get a better color if I do that. And my smaller batches that are going to be part of those three different in the pot swirls are in these other cups. I can just forget what I'm doing unless I put them in different containers. So I'm making less of those because I want those colors to be more intense. They're the colors that get mixed into the main batches. Oh, it smells really good. I smell the mango and the apple. The ginger lime just gives it a bit of a um, tart quality. Blend. This is the red. I'm going to blend the yellow first. That looks good. If I mix from light to darker color, then I don't have to worry about rinsing out my blender.
Here's my orange. I have two kinds of oranges, actually, because they're both a part of two different swirls. Okay, and finally, my dark blue. Okay, with my light purple, I'm going to put in my dark blue. Let me stir that around a little bit. Showed you in my other video that um, stirring it up just makes it a little bit more fluid. And that's the quality I want. So I'm going to drop this in. I'm going to some of the bubbles out. That gets poured. This gets poured to the top. I don't really need too much for the top. Then I'm just going to make this a light swirl like that. That's all. And then with the red, I'm going to put one of the oranges. I think I want to use the lighter of the two. Better stir. And this goes into the red. It's my brighter of the two oranges, so I want that contrast with the dark red. Give that just a brief stir like that. And then my other orange. It's a little stir. And that goes in the yellow. Okay. And that gets just a little stir as well. And there's a particular order that this has to go through. And the order is that, if you remember the painting, the purple goes on the bottom. going to put a lot of colors on the top so I don't need to reserve any. Okay, there's that. I'm going to pound that down. Okay. The next color is the red and the orange. I am going to reserve a little bit this one for the top because the painting has some oranges on the top. And finally, my yellow-orange mix. It's just setting up enough that it's going to layer pretty nicely without me having to be too careful. And I'm going to hang or swirl it anyway, so I don't have to worry too much about keeping a nice separation with like a horizontal layer. OK, 
Okay, then pound that down. I think I am actually going to use more of my soaps for um, the top since this is a little low in the pot swirl and then I'm going to hanger swirl this I'm not going to come all the way out I'm just pushing this in bringing it to the side pulling it up I took the um, tube that feeds the automatic ice dispenser, slid it down the middle and wrapped it around the hanger. If you just use a wire hanger, there's not enough girth to really do much of anything. So grid. purple. More orange. It's a brighter orange. Okay. I'm finding my dark blue. Down a little bit. Pounding it down gets uh, bubbles out bubbles out of it, but it also flattens the peaks a little bit. I'm just gonna scroll these. Remember, don't get too tempted to twirl this, scroll this too much, otherwise it all mixes together. And it will turn brown. I don't really want brown. Especially opposite colors next to each other, like the blues and the oranges. Okay, that's all. Just clean the edges off a little bit. And I'm going to be back with a cutting video in a couple of days. I'm doing this late, later in the morning than I thought I was going to make it, so I really want to make sure that it's set up before I cut it. Okay, that's what the top looks like, and I can't wait to slice into it. And I think I'll show you the pictures, the paintings that I'm um, basing this design on again as we say go goodbye. So this is Clyde from Vibrant Soap and thanks for watching.